So you have an old computer you want to get some money back? Let's find out if you can get something back while mining with it, shall we? Hello! Let's find out if we can mine anything with processor and graphic cards. The graphic cards, it's, it's old, but let's see if we can get anything back. Okay, so let's go to betterhash.net press on download and download the application for the mining yes press yes before downloading because otherwise you won't be able to download it press download now and the application will be downloaded on your computer also most of the antivirus thinks that this is a virus well, in some cases it might be if you are doing this not by your own will. So make sure it's not blocking the download and uh, you might need to disable your antivirus or Windows, Windows Defender for a moment. Once file downloaded, press open the file, press on the downloads icon on your browser. I'm using Firefox so it's on the right side, in your case it might be different. Run the application. Installation window will appear next, next, and it should be installed quite quickly. You'll get a greeting message saying thank you for downloading the application and welcome screen should appear on your screen. Read the message, read the information and press next. Once you press next, main file will be downloaded. As we can see, it's downloading quite well and when the application will be installed on your computer. After some time download is completed, press next and the application will start. Now, before starting mining, it's really recommended to do a benchmark so that application could find what miners to use. While testing what miners to use, it's using our CPU. Well, I guess it's needed to find out which miner is the best for the current, for the for my CPU. You can select it straight away. In my case, it shows XMR, random X XM rig. Um, I'm not familiar with what that means, but this is some kind of miner and the program finds out that this is the best. If we take a look at the GPU, we can see that now it's testing the GPU. So let's see what GPU miner it will find and we can start mining. Okay, so after some time, it took a little bit more than I expected, benchmark is over. As you can see, it suggests Zek Equihash miner. But let's check on their websites. Is this really the best miner? So let's go on their website, which is betterhash.net, and we can see that this miner will give us only 8 cents per month, while the BTG might give us $3.50. So let's go back to our application and select the better one. Because 8 cents and $3 is quite a difference. I don't want to keep my computer running for the whole month to get 8 cents. Mind-blowingly. I'll pay more for electricity. I had to pay for the machine. Once we change the miner to BTG, as this one looks better. Yeah, as you can see, it, that's, that's a really big difference. Let's check for the, our CPU, if that's the best choice the application did find out. So we have a 350 of our clock speed, 350, select the hardware, and we can see XMR. Yeah, so that's right. That should generate us $4.43. Once you press apply, it will start mining. We can see the miners. For some reason it shows only 35 cents a month, so I don't really like that. But maybe it's just the beginning, that's why. On task manager I can see that for some reason just half of the CPU is running and my computer is freezing a little bit because, well, yeah, of course, everything is, is running at quite a full power and that's why it's freezing. So if you go to scheduler, 
we can select the times when we don't want the miner to mine. For example, if we are working or we have to do some stuff, we can automatically select some times that it would not mine and we would not need to think that if it's mining or if it's not. It will just stop for that time. Now, if we go to the website, we can see that some kind of my account was created, but I don't have an account yet. So now let's create an account, press on create the account button, type your credentials. Because if we are giving the electricity and the power of our computer, we don't want that that would go somewhere I don't know where, so at least those couple cents I would like to get them, that's for sure. Once you type your name and your password, select the icon that you are not a robot and press create. After the account is created, you will be greeted with the same screen. And there is one more thing that you have to do. As you just created the account on this website, you have to type the same username and the password on the miner you're using to mine. So let's do it. And that also is being said on the first message on the top of the screen. As you can see, it says that you have to go to settings, payment tab and fill the information for your account. Let's go to the miner, payment and now we'll have to press on assign ID. Type the email, the one you use to create your account type your password and press apply. Okay, I left the miner for the night, for the day, and the next day we can see that it's running. We have two tables, running this one, this one, and we have some information here. So let's see what it mined during that day. It's kind of mining. We have two windows, one for the CPU and one for the GPU. Also, we have predicted revenue like $3.47 and we can see that almost $2 for the CPU and $1.5 for the Zhash GPU. Not much, I would say. Not much. And we can see the GPU is running again at, at full speed. Of course, the 3D is at full throttle speed because I'm recording my screen. I would not recommend you to record the screen while mining at full speed because it really lags. So free and maybe if I have a luck, five, three to five dollars a month for running at full speed uh, for CPU and for GPU. It's not worth it, that's for sure. Also, I haven't counted the electricity. Okay, let's say the machine costs around 400 bucks. Okay, less than 400 bucks. It can generate 347. So during the year, you might get like 40 to 50 bucks. It would take you around eight years to get back something from this machine. I mean, it will be dead after one or two years it won't be useful anymore and most likely electricity will cost more than just mining like that so what can i say i can see that it's really not worth to try and deal and do something with the old machine before buying the machine like this you can check on the website like i showed you before you can type the hardware you will get and you can see how much revenue it most likely will generate you. So you can do it with the calculator and you will see if it's worth to buy it or if it's not. And actually now it's mining less than the, it was shown on the website. I'm not sure why. For example, the CPU runs around 60% and no more. So in one case it's kind of good, but in our case we have to tweak it to, to work at full speed. But in my case, free, maybe to $5, it's not even worth the time to tweaking the processor to search for information why it's not at full speed. No, it's not worth. It's just the money is just too low. I'll just probably sell it and I'll buy another machine, uh, one that I need for my project. Just one thing that I like about this one, it can deal with 4K video without any issues. So my old laptop I'm using for video editing is less capable than this one. So in that case, it's really good, but for mining, it's not good at all. 
So keep that in mind if you are thinking about joining to the mining to mine something. So keep that in mind that all computers are not so good. I hope this was useful. If you like it, press like button. If you don't, press dislike. Let me know what you like, what you don't. And see you next time. Cheers. Finito. Dang, 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 dang. Let's stop the recording. So I guess this is a finito of my video detour.